Hey guys, it's Olivia here and welcome to Positivity with Olivia. I wanted to create a little something for you guys where you guys could come and um, we could drink some tea together, hence the positivity. You know I had to throw in a good pun. Um, and I just really wanted to create something for you guys where we could sit down and talk about good things that are happening right now amidst all the craziness. Oh my gosh, it literally just started sprinkling, so hopefully it stops. Basically, I've just found some sweet, positive, heartwarming stories online, and I wanna share them with you guys. I saw what John Krasinski was doing by sharing good news with the world and kind of making his own good news channel, and I really wanted to join that movement and be a part of hopefully bringing some positivity and joy into your guys' lives, even if it's just for five short minutes while you guys watch this video. So, I am going to share some positive things that have been happening amidst this craziness, some great uplifting stories, and I'm also gonna share just some positive things in my life, and I would love if you guys would comment down below some great things um, in your life right now, some positive little things, um, anything that you wanna share. I have my tea in my favorite mug, which is my Snow White mug. Um, she's my favorite Disney princess. So grab your tea or coffee or whatever, and let's get started. This story is the sweetest thing ever. I've got my notes here. Um, and I just really wanted to share this with you guys because so many people right now are using this time to spread light while socially distancing. Uh, this first story is this, about this three-year-old girl named Elizabeth Guthrie who loves, loves dogs. Her parents decided that because her birthday was coming up, they really just wanted to make her feel special in any way that they could. So what they did was they posted a sign on their front yard saying, calling all dog walkers. If you guys want to, please walk by our house between 5 and 5.30 p.m. on this day. And hopefully we can make a little dog parade for our daughter who is turning three years old, who loves dogs. In the first 15 minutes, 17 dogs and 41 people in socially distant clusters came and made a parade for the sweet little girl who was absolutely in love with seeing all the people and of course the dogs. People made happy birthday signs and they dressed their dogs up in party hats and cute little outfits. And it was just a sweet but simple way to spread some love and light um, during this quarantine to this little three-year-old girl. So I thought that that was the cutest story ever. So I just really wanted to share with that one with you guys. And next story is about a group of firefighters who saved a dog. A great Hill House company responded to an animal rescue call when a small dog had run under the porch of this house and gotten stuck because he still had his leash on. And this um, crew spent over a half an hour just trying to rescue the dog. And then they returned the dog safely to its owner, which is the sweetest thing ever. Obviously, you guys can't tell I like dogs, right? <laughs> this next story is truly so sweet and so uplifting. This teacher, Chris Waba at Madison Middle School, um, had a student, her name is Riley, and she was struggling with learning how to graph in her algebra class. Um, and she just couldn't figure it out after trying many times to get on the phone with her teacher. As you guys know, sometimes it's hard to learn over the phone when you're doing complicated math um, or learning something new. So her teacher took the initiative to come over to her house, didn't actually come over. He was outside of the glass window and brought a whiteboard and taught her in person kind of how to finish this math problem. And as you guys know, if you guys are students, it is so helpful to have someone come and explain something to you. So that was the sweetest thing ever. Now she will definitely never forget how to do that math problem. This next story is called The Flower Bomb. The founder of DFW Event Design, Kate Robinson, knew that she wanted to do something special with the abundance of flowers that they had from all of their events being canceled, like weddings and birthday parties and corporate parties and everything like that. They were left with so many flowers and nothing to do with them. So Kate decided that she was going to do something special that she knew would make so many people happy and bring so much joy into everyone's lives. So Kate decided to flower bomb Philadelphia's Rittenhouse Square with a bunch of flowers and it is absolutely stunning. They brought more than 2000 stems from their warehouse to create a huge display in the square for everyone to look at. And it's normally a very popular tourist site 
Kate says, the tears, the emotions, smiles, and pure joy we brought to people was unimaginable. This calmed anxiety, cleared headaches, and truly touched so many people. It is truly so beautiful and such an amazing, thoughtful thing of this founder to do to bring joy into other people's lives in a simple way. Those are the stories that I have for you guys. I also wanted to share a couple of positive things that have been happening in my life. I have been really loving spending time with my family and one of my favorite things that we do together is movie night. Um, that's something that I just will cherish forever with my family is having a bunch of movie nights and watching your favorite movies and um, I love movies so getting to watch them with my family at home during this time has been really special. I have also been loving baking and trying new recipes. I recently made some cake pops and that brought a lot of joy into my day. I was able to spend several hours because cake pops take forever to make and um, bake some cake pops for my friends and family and I dropped some on my friends' porches. It was just so much fun. Please comment down below something that you're grateful for, something positive that's happened this week for you. And I want to give a big thank you to all of our essential workers and first responders and basically anybody helping during this crazy time. We are so grateful for you. I love you guys so much and I want to encourage you to do something positive. Um, just like all these people in these stories did. They were amazing and set a great example of how we can all try to bring joy into other people's lives. So I'm sending you guys all my love. I hope that you enjoyed this little fun episode of positivity with Olivia <laughs> and I will see you guys soon. Bye.